Hi there, I'm Jill Conrath, author of four best-selling sales books. You know, one of the things that I have always believed is that understanding our customer is probably the most important thing we can do in order to be effective at our jobs. After all, if we don't know what's important to them, we can't help them be successful, and that's what really, truly matters. And that's why I'm so excited that Discover Org is sponsoring these, these, this series of interviews to help us get inside the minds of prospective buyers to find out what matters to them. So again, so we can serve them better. joined today by one of those people, Dana Huppert, Director of Legal Operations from Synchronous Technologies. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, and you're here just to tell us all about what you do on a daily basis and what matters to you. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's start out with some easy questions, okay? Um, as a Director of Legal Operations, what are your roles and responsibilities? What are you in charge of? Uh, so basically, my roles and responsibilities for legal operations mm -hmm. is very vast. Um, the legal operations role is a very diverse role, so it's not necessarily a cookie cutter role in every company. Um, so there, they can have different types of roles. Sometimes it could be different responsibilities. And basically, my role uh, for, you know, I work in a technology company. I'm in the technology space. Mm -hmm. And it touches, you know, every department. I'm in, in charge of corporate governance, risk management, um, our business processes, contract management, procurement management. I'm also in charge of risk management and procurement management. Um, and uh, I also work directly with the C-suite uh, because I report directly to the general counsel. So th there's a lot of special projects uh, that I'm pulled in as a legal ops person. Um, and I'm his proxy in, in certain meetings as the head of legal ops um, to, you know, handle uh, different types of projects that come on. Um, so I'm kind of privy to all those things of the strategy and the roadmap of the company. Um, and they'll ask me, you know, different ways to, you know, bring in efficiencies in the company, roll things out worldwide, et cetera. <laughs> You know, when you hear the title, you wouldn't think that you would necessarily be in charge of all those things. I mean, that you're just, I mean, you really are, you have your hands in everything. So my goal is I look at just operations. I'm focusing only on that, driving those efficiencies, bringing those costs down. And the other thing that's a big challenge for in-house legal departments is to show the company the value and all of the value that a legal department actually brings to the table, which is very difficult because an operations person will speak the numbers that the, that the C-suite actually um, comprehends. So they, they look at numbers. I mean, you can, you know, uh, lawyers, you know, they speak, right? They're very good with words. Um, but what you have to do is you have, as an operations person, you have to take those words and put them into numbers. <laughs> Let me show you all the value that your internal legal department is bringing to you in number format. And that's, that's the biggest, I think, um, role and challenge for an, an ops person to constantly be aware of. What else do you have on your plate this year to drive more efficiencies? Uh, so the other thing on, uh, that we're looking at is corporate governance. Uh, we're looking to bring in a, a more robust corporate governance plan. We're, we're looking to actually you know, take our board and our board of directors and actually put it on a platform where we're able to do things more that are, um, you know, in the cloud and, and not depend on, you know, books per se, but to actually do things in a platform, I think it would, it would drive more efficiency on an administrative side. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, that's a big thing that we've been looking at. And our compliance program, we, we've also been taking a look at that as well. Um, just revamping everything and looking at the policies and doing research and looking against industry standards um, and how we can be better um, and make sure that we keep up with our peer companies and what they're doing. And there are technologies in all these areas. Yes, there's technology touches every single area. There's a lot of, you know, my thing that I always have to uh, prove um, whenever I want to bring in technology mm -hmm. into in-house I have to prepare a business case. And at the end of the day, that business case is all about those numbers. 
you know, how are we going to save, you know, money? We're going to be putting money out, but how are we actually going to save money with this, you know, technology that you're bringing in? Mm -hmm. The thing with the, um, the, with internal legal departments, our biggest challenge is we're above the line. We're not below the line. Mm -hmm. So we're always trying to prove, you know, how we are actually, um, you know, uh, partnering with the company, staying with the strategic goals and being able to, you know, bring, bring things in house, do them correctly so that we, you know, make sure there's no risk to the company yeah. and to be very, very efficient. Yeah. So, um, you know, for us, whenever we're doing a large spend or we're bringing in something, a tool or technology, um, we partner very closely. Well, at least, you know, that's one of the big things I do is I partner with my vendors and I make sure they understand here's the problem I'm trying to solve. Let me see what your tools can do because it's never going to get past the first stage um, if we don't have the proper business case. You know, one of the things is with a legal ops person, they may seem slow in making a decision, but they are very specific because they're following a business case guideline that they've created and they have to make sure all of those things tick and tie to that vendor, what they're selling. Otherwise, they don't want to take the risk of saying, wow, this didn't work out for me in so many ways. We're just going to have to cut ties. Nobody wants to do that. Um, you want to make sure that it's a long-term relationship, your partners, and that you actually have that as they release enhancements, that you grow with mm -hmm. that and become just as, you know, as better as the things that they actually develop in their own company. I get a lot of those emails. Um, <laughs> I, I can say, you know, great. It's great tribe. Do I read them? No, yeah. not really. Unless it's something that I'm looking for. Um, I'm not really, you know, looking at those, mm -hmm. but nothing beats the, the kind of personal touch. Um, I know that there are salespeople who actually go to some of the networking events that I actually go for legal ops Okay. and they will okay. actually um, host uh, to talk about some of the challenges that legal operation people um, you know, all of us face mm -hmm. and they'll actually talk a little bit about, you know, how these things can be solved. And at the very end, mm -hmm. they'll say, oh, and I'm from such and such company and they'll explain their solution. So, and then they have their cards out there. So it's a very, you know, really just how, you know, everybody has these problems, you know, this is, this is how the, it's been solved, you know, this is how we do it. And then, oh, we have this kind of solution. You know, one of the key things that I would say is um, your biggest buyer is your legal ops person. It's not the general counsel. Uh, the general counsel is yeah. looking and leaning on the legal ops person to make those suggestions, to do all the, the legwork and to come with that business case. Um, if you reach out directly to the general counsel, they're probably going to say, not even talk to you, or they're going to say, oh, talk to so-and-so, which is your legal ops person. Uh, so, you know, if I would actually give any advice to a salesperson, find out if that company has that role and then see if you can make that kind of connection or invitation. Thank you.